Hi, I'm Miranda. Welcome to the Gospel Explosions Word Ministry of Sardis, Georgia. Our location is 811 Sap Street. Our pastor is the Honorable Bishop Willie Jones Jr. Our service time as it follows Tuesday Bible study at 7.30, Sunday 10 a.m. prayer, 10.15 Sunday school, 11 a.m. morning worship. You are cordially invited to worship with us during our services. Thank you from yours truly, Miranda Pierce of the Gospel of Explosion Word Ministry. Amen. Blessings in that powerful name of Jesus. It's another uh, glory to God worship service, and we give God the praise. We give God to honor. Um, by way of announcement, glory to God, we just like to announce, praise you the Lord, this coming Sunday, glory to God, please come and worship with Dr. Loretta Ellison Jones in celebrating her becoming an author, glory to God, amen, at the hour of 4 o'clock p.m., 811 Sap Street, in the city of Sardis, Georgia, December the 19th, our special guest, will be none other than Bishop Billy Smith of Johnston, South Carolina, the host radio, glory to God, in Aiken, South Carolina, glory to God, gospel train, amen, will be in the house, none other than the Honorable uh, Pastor Lyles, Lyles, amen, glory to God, praise you, Lord, along with other good gospel singers, the Tillman family of Aiken, South Carolina. So if you're not doing anything, come on down to 811. Sap Street in the city of Sardis, Georgia, at Gospel Explosion Word Ministry on December the 19th, on Sunday, December the 19th at 4 p.m. and celebrate with Dr. Jones. Our pastor is none other than the Honorable Bishop Willie Jones, Jr. We hope to see you there. Now we will be listening to, amen, glory to God, Sean Jones and the Believers saying, and worthy is he, God is worthy, people, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. God's name is worthy, and it must be praised 24 hours a day. Stay tuned. I'll be right back with the rich word of God. Everywhere. 
sing one more thing. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I feel? The Lord is the strength of my life. And whom shall I be afraid? And that's why I praise Him for His amazing grace. I take time out every day and sing, "Worthy is He." Hallelujah.
Glory to God. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank and praise God. Amen. Life is worth the living. Yes, sir. Not because of nobody else, but because God lives. Mm -hmm. Amen. Tonight we're talking from the book of Numbers 20 and 5. Amen. And tonight our topic will be promised land living requires us to leave Egypt. Right. How many know, glory to God, if you're going to have promised land living, that means you got to leave Egypt. Yes, many right. people think promised land living means when you die and go over yonder, but that ain't what God talking about. That's He's right. talking about a natural promised land living. But it's going to require us. Uh -huh. Nobody's exempt. So many times when we preach in the word, we preach at other people, but that word meant for everybody from the pulpit to the back door. Yes, How many know in order to have promised land living, we must be willing to leave Egypt? Uh -huh. Amen. And when he talks about Egypt, he's talking about the way we think. The battlefield is in the mind. Uh -huh. Sometimes we are claiming salvation, but we yet got an Egypt mind. That's right. The people left Egypt bodily, but not in their mind yeah. and in their heart. Yeah. So many times there are many Christians out there right now claiming salvation, but they got a bondage mind. Yeah. You got to change the way you think. In order to reach the promised land. Yes, sir. Amen. And it's saying, wherefore have you made us come up out of Egypt mm -hmm. to bring us unto this evil place? Yes. It is no place of seed or figs or vines or pomegranate. Neither is there any water to drink. Now see what kind of mind they had. Mm -hmm. Amen. They said Moses brought them out of Egypt to a place where there was no seed. There was no water. There was no pomegranate. They called the place a evil place. Uh -huh. But see, people, when we get it mixed at, we feel like once we come out of Egypt and get saved, we don't have to go through the wilderness. Yes. How many know the devil is a liar? Yes, In order to get to any promised land, you're going to have to go through trials and tribulation. Yes, sir. Glory to God. You just ain't going to jump into promised land living. Yes, and see, that's what type of preachers we want today. Yes. We want them type of preachers that going to give us sugar when we need a lemon. Come on yes. up in here. Yes. We want them type of preachers that going to spare our feelings. Yes. Well, baby, I'm not one of those preachers. Uh -huh. I don't spare feelings. I don't compromise. I tell you the truth. Yes, sir. Because how many know there's so many people walking around with the roll on, but they're giving people false hope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is not what we are here to do. We're here to give you the hope and the truth yes, of God's word. Yes. You just ain't going to jump in the promised land living like that. You're going to have to go through the wilderness. <laughs> You're going to have to go through trials. Yes. You're going to have to go through tribulation. But if you hang on and hold to your faith, yes. you will get to that promised land yes, living. Yes, How many know, but you got to change the way you think? Yes, sir. The reason why a millionaire is a millionaire because he or she think like a millionaire. Yes, they don't think like a $20 bill. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They don't think like a $10 bill. Yes, sir. Come on up in here. They yes, think in the millions. Come on. Yes, in order to get where you need to get, you need to reshape your thinking. Yes, you need to let this word change the way you think. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah How many know it was a 10 to 11 days journey to the promised land uh -huh. when they left Egypt? Right. Well, why it took them 40 years? Yeah. That's right. They didn't want to change the way they think. That's right. They still had an Egypt mind. Yeah. They yeah. wanted to struggle. Because they wouldn't have told the leader, you brought us to an evil place. No, he delivered you out of bondage. Because yes, where you was, they whooped you day and night. Yes. You couldn't get up when you wanted to. Yes, you couldn't even, glory to God, have pleasure with your own wife because they even controlled that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What you call the place where God can you an evil place. Jesus. 
Amen. What a great word. Amen. Coming from our camp meeting. Amen. Glory to God. In order to reach the promised land, we must first want to have a mind to leave out of Egypt, the land of bondage. I'd like to announce again, don't forget, come and support Dr. Loretta Ellison Jones in the city of Sardis, Georgia. This Sunday coming, next Sunday, glory to God, December the 19th, at the hour of 4 o'clock p.m. That's December the 19th at the hour of 4 o'clock p.m. at 811 South Street in the city of Sardis, Georgia. Our special guest is none other than Bishop Billy Smith, the Tillman family of Aiken, South Carolina, and real, some real good amen church. Amen. So if you're not doing anything, December 19th, Sunday, glory to God, Sunday, December the 19th, at 4 o'clock p.m. Come on down to Sardis, Georgia, 811 South Street at Gospel Explosion Word Ministry, where our pastor is none other than the Honorable Bishop Willie Jones, Jr. Have a blessed and a productive day. God bless.